Okay, let's see if this goes. Hopefully everything is going to work because I have just reset everything. Settings have been changed, numbers have been crunched, things are going on. And I don't even know if my volume will be loud enough. Okay, so I gotta close this down. Don't care about that. And we get more games and more thrills. Okay. So we're gonna head over toward Linkus Sector. Landing gear retracted. I think I need to pull this in a bit, but it won't go any closer. Maybe if I put it like way up there, it'll work for me. How about that? Just trying to figure out where everything goes, and hopefully everything works. Yeah, that looks really bizarre to be up there. I'm just gonna sit over this side a little. Uh, except my thing moves. Okay. Apparently my chair starts to slide this way. Good evening, Golden Dragon. Welcome to uh, the first, hopefully, in some regular streams, because I haven't been doing streaming for a while. How were the sound levels? Would love some feedback on any of this stuff. So Elite Dangerous has just produced a 1.2 beta, which has added, well, it's added a couple of new spaceships. That's the main thing I'm interested in. Oh, this is an unknown here. I should be able to check this thing out here. Let's, let's scan everything I can. Pardon me, I'm gonna... Sound levels are good. Okay, hey, Crispy135 and X Blairix. Good, glad to hear the sound is good. I am actually trying to get to some part of civilized space so I can try out the newer spaceships. I don't really care about much else. This is in the beta. I don't believe my, uh, I don't believe it does anything. Okay, where's my, oh, there it is there. Oh, you know what? That's a new feature. You should be able to, like, to select that. There's a key binding they've added related to selecting the next Friendship step in your route. Hey, Narun! Oh, Narun, is that a reference to Babylon 5? Because, uh, yeah, Babylon 5, favorite TV show. Uh, Sentinel, Sentinel, welcome. Derek H1, X Hanson Max. KCL202, I'm just reading off all your names because I'm really glad to have you here. And, you know, we're all big family kind of thing, but not. Yeah, Babylon 5. It, great show. Uh, yeah, I really can't say much more than it is one of the best shows ever in the history of TV shows ever. Good morning from Belgium. Do you have waffles there? Because I'm pretty sure Belgian waffles would be pretty tasty right now. Okay, so I'm just going to scan this because... I don't know. Wait, why am I bothering scanning? I'm, this is me just being... being dumb. There's no reason for me to scan. Heidi Sector, Lock Destination. I'm trying to get to civilized space, which means I need to take a quick run over the edge of the star here. Here we go. Watch my heat levels as I s ooh lights and everything. Oh, now the wait. There's supposed to be controls for external uh, external camera. I should figure that out. Now hold on. How do I do this? Um, this is what happens when you don't read the instructions. I guess I'm just going to hyperspace and I'm going to read it on this on my phone. Very important. Has all sorts of important stuff. Steven Stash! Yes, waffles, beer, Belgian. That's all the stuff. Okay. Three, two, one, I'm looking up how to use the external camera because I know that's a feature. Um, 1.2. Yeah, let's go there. Pardon me, I'm just going to click on this. Oh, you're actually playing Elite and watching Elite? I'm gonna do this scan thing again. Discovered one new astronomical object. I'm gonna do a quick skim through the X side of this star here. Just, if I go quickly, then it will be like I'm not burning myself. You know what, I think the heat levels have been modified, by the way. 
I don't think uh, the Russians will necessarily abandon Friendship ISS in a decade. It doesn't actually make that much sense, but I could be wrong. Oh! Elite Dangerous to honor Leonard Nimoy with a new Vulcan station. Apparently, this is a real thing. There is a planet Vulcan, which is not full of big ear. Okay. I'll throttle up to engage. So apparently, yeah, they're gonna add a, a, a Vulcan station. Great. Patch notes. Here, this might tell me what's going. Um, yeah, I flew through the star really quickly so I didn't burn my spaceship up. Unfortunately, I uh, made this mistake over the weekend of burning my fingers while working with glass. That was kind of fun. I was making glass gizmos and stuff. Okay, wow, we're still nowhere near where we're going. Fuel scooping. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was making glass stuff I made, like a little sturdy, blobby, glassy thing, and a, a little twisty, blobby thing, and... A turtle! I made a glass turtle, and I burned my fingers for it. That was fun. Oh, oh dear, it didn't break. Yes, no, it didn't break. Don't worry. Yeah, I need to get to it. This is, So this is my first chance to play Elite Beta, right? This is my first chance to actually play it. Hold on, I'm just adjusting this window a little. Civilized space, stay clear of Earth. Yeah, well, Earth has a strange concept of humor. Okay, and what does it say? Flyable debug camera with limited range. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try this at the next stop where I drop out. I'm gonna do Control Alt and Space while I'm refueling or something. Yeah, I, I just uh, it was a fun idea. What really happened was that uh, my oh, there's a real planet coming up. Let's go straight for it. Uh, basically, a friend had a class in glass, you know work that she couldn't make and so she said if I asked me if I wanted to take it instead and I thought hell yes chance to burn myself and you know cause trouble okay so let's actually control was it control alt space let's try this oh entering debug camera mode wait and press left control left alt and space to exit I'm vulnerable in this mode okay so what happens that, that's great. Debug camera mode. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then let's go back. Well, that's great. Hyperspace. Out of here. Okay. Flyable debug camera with limited range. I think I have to drop out of warp. I think... I'm guessing the control alt space probably doesn't work if I'm in frame shift, right? What happens? Yeah, frame shift it doesn't work. Hyperspace from the outside. No, we have not. We didn't just witness the destruction of the USS Turtle. The Turtle did, however. I'm not very good at these things, and it got cracked. You probably can't see it, but it got cracked. Okay, so. Yes, I figured we have Mol. Oh, M Moisuk. Moisuk Dock. Okay, let's go there. I figure that's a good place to start. Maybe it'll have stuff. Oh, I've relocated astronomical objects. I wonder if I can sell them on this data. Tijkeel. Hello from Boston. How is the snow out there? Uh, is it melting yet or is it getting worse? I, uh, I'm i kind of worried. I've, I've got a... My mother-in-law's in, in uh, Belmont near Boston. And obviously a lot of people are having trouble out there with the huge quantities of snow that have been deposited on the landscape. Okay, let's do this. I'm just cutting volume and I got distracted. Okay, overshooting. That's okay. So, has the chat just completely stopped? It's really hard to tell with these statistics. That's how I do this when I go too fast. It's still snowing, okay. Hello, fire butt 13. So that's like fire butt 13. Uh, uh, where do I live? I live in uh, California. That's where I live. California is. I, fl I live specifically in Northern California. I work in San Francisco. I live in Oakland. Uh, I occasionally also work in Cupertino. 
So that's what my jobs are and where things are. <sighs> okay, I gotta go a little faster here. I'm hopefully going to be meeting some of the guys from Frontier at Game Developer Conference because they are all in town. Games Developer Conference is this conference where all the games developers come and they got they get to hang out and talk about games and things like that. Okay, ready to drop out? Yay, destination locked. No, no, this is the earliest I can start a stream sheriff, right? This is what this is why I don't stream very often because I pretty much have to get the kids to bed. And then I have to arrange other things. Oh, where's my heads-up display gone? Did I do something? I... that's funny. No heads-up display! Great! Well, uh, let's... nevertheless, let's work on that. Why suck? Request docking. Docking request granted. I'm pretty sure I can land this thing without a, a UI. Obviously I'm doing the, the declutter thing that the space shuttle does, right? How was the video quality? So I made a lot of adjustments to Open Broadcaster. I still can't get hardware accelerated encoding going on, but I adjusted the the speed, uh, the encoding profiles and things like that. I'm obviously not a Bay Area native. I, I am an import that was related to my job. Basically, people wanted somebody that had my skills. Okay, proceed to landing pad 6. Excellent. Glad I didn't lose anything important in my UI. Okay, slow down. There we go. Come on. Ding 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 ding. Bing 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 bing. Engines disengaged. Okay, starport services. I I uh worked on streaming music. That was my specialty. Okay, oh I'm gonna refuel all, repair all, finally get my ship working. And let's take a look at the shipyard to see if we've got the vulture or anything else here. Okay, shipyard. What have you got for me? Uh, Viper. Type 6. Federal dropship. I don't, look, they're all costing 100 credits, by the way. Oh, the vulture. I gotta buy this. This is what I'm here for. Uh, wait, just want to see what else. Yeah, vulture. Uh, vulture is one of the new spacecraft. I don't care. I'm probably going to have a terrible setup fitting it but that's good okay there we go purchase I'm going to buy a new ship and store my current ship confirmed I didn't come finish my PhD because I got offered a silly amount of money to come to California and do you know computer stuff which was a lot of fun uh, it felt like a silly amount of money at the time but then I moved to San Francisco and realized actually it's not very great. It wasn't great money at the time. Uh, there's there's Dr. Manley's. Actually, you know, the doc, the manliest doctor I know has to be a guy called Duncan Steele, right? So that's a pretty awesome name. But he has, he's a Dr. Duncan Steele, or Professor Steele. But he also works in killer asteroids. So he's an awesome dude, and you should uh, check out some of his work. Okay, starport services. I need to buy some bits and pieces, right? I hopefully, hopefully have some bits and pieces to fit this out. Here's one of the new ships. So we have a couple of... Look at these dinky little lasers in here. It's like, you know... It's not, it's not the size that matters, but what you do with them, right? So it has two large hard points and then utility points. So I guess I put a class one item in it. I wonder what I can fit in it. Class 2, so at least that's that's slum somewhat bigger. Let's scroll down the list and see what we've got at the end. And then these... What the heck? Turret beam laser. 19 million! 19 million! It's more money than I can really afford. Plasma accelerator, fragment cannons. I don't th have enough spare cash. So the problem is the spacecraft are cheap, but the modules are still full price. Hoping that there's a class... Class 3 pulse laser. Yeah, let's do that. Bye. Okay, let let's see what happens. I think I'm wondering if I can fit like a a class four or something. Oh, that's more like it. I still think that's smaller than we'd expect. 
Okay, buy and equip. So I'm looking for another class three. Oh, sort on um, rating class module type class descending. There we go. So we should have. Oh, that's interesting. That's fitted. Oh, class one. Plasma accelerator. So I'm looking for the cheapest class three, which is a pulse laser. I don't really. Oh. Oh, wait, did I fit a burst laser or a pulse laser in that slot? Oh, that's what... Oh, okay, okay, yeah, let's... That's a gimbaled version, that's why. Let's just do that. Confirmed. So that's me uh, equipped. We'll probably take a look at the other internal fittings. We can update our, all this stuff here. Frameshift drive. Can I upgrade that for any reasonable amount of money? A, B, C, D... Nah, never mind. Let... Who cares? Who cares? Oh, we have a couple of in empty internal compartments on this. Let's uh, try taking this in out for a fight, right? And... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And we get a bunch of stuff going on here. Rich, uh, starport services. Mind sending one of you... What? Had to dig through... Had to dig through your link tweets for a link here. It's pretty obvious with my name and everything. It's pretty obvious if you want to search. You, you, there's also links off of my YouTube page. There's quite a few links to this page. Uh, I would have to type it all in. That's my problem. Okay. So... So, so, so. What am I looking... Oh, bulletin board. I want to see if there's anything around here. Ah, uh, guides to a brighter future. Card collectors required. What's this one? Oh, sorry, I'm looking for Dick Acton. <laughs> Dick Acton in Ule Shukas, blah, whatever. I have one day to do this. Shall I go in looking for Dick Acton? I'm definitely going to go looking for Dick Acton with a name like that. Okay, um, accept Ulo Uloskas. Oh, awesome! It just crashed. It just crashed. Game crashed. Um, yes. Well, I guess I need to send that as a report. So, uh, yeah, just give me a second. This is what happens when you test beta software. It's coming back. Just in a minute. It's still thinking. Slowly. Continuing to think, booting up, you know, doing that kind of thing. Boom. Yes, okay. Yes, Games Developer Conference in town. Has everybody been paying attention to all the fascinating news coming out of Games Developer Conference? We've got, a, you know, Source 2, um, Unreal Engine uh, being free now to use. Unless, uh, obviously, fee free until you uh, actually release something and take money for it. Unity, free unless until you release something. There's a, a lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to start again in open play. That might be the problem, actually. I get to break things. It's what... Yes! Excellent! Ah, oh, great. So now I can't even... I wonder... I'm going to send that as a bug, whatever that is. I might have to play something else. You're waiting for episode three of what? Oh, episode... Yes, we're all waiting for episode three. Yes. Everyone was, was like, Hey, by the way, did you notice that someone from Valve is giving a talk? On the 3rd of March at 3 p.m. Yeah, no, it was about, like, I don't know, some game design thing. But that would have been a hell of a way to, like, actually reveal that. Tell you what, maybe I should just go and play Half Life 3 if I can't get this thing to work. Or Half Life 2. No, just kidding, I don't have Half Life 3. Ah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, gr gratuitous space battles is a lot of fun. I, I I don't need advice with GSB one, but GSB two definitely needs uh, a lot of a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, I I think it's interesting to see that both engines kind of went free at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna try solo to see if that fixes this bug. Okay, 
solo XML version coding status bang. Okay, do you see that? There was some like XML bug. Okay, what are we gonna play instead then? Damn it. How about uh, Crusader Kings maybe? Come on, I gotta take a vote on this. I need to fix this. Uh, 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 image. I'll oh, cancel. <sighs> Let's, uh, what, any suggestions? I, I, I try to, but I think game is crashing now every time I try to log in. Let's go to, let's go and play something else. Let's go and play. You want Crusader Kings 2? Let's, let's give that a go for a little while. It's kind of hard to explain to people, right? Uh, Crusader Kings 2, or maybe I should play some Strike Suit 0, Besiege, I don't have, <laughs> the most recent game, I don't know what the most recent game is, I, I honestly don't know, I've got a lot of games I haven't played in a long time, Part, I, I, for some reason this, this thing doesn't like to show me doing the thing, oh Universe Sandbox 2, let's fire this up and see what happens. Because we've just had a new update for um, for this. Hold on, I'm going to just refresh this. Okay. Bingo! Universal Sandbox. Universe Sandbox. You know, yeah, you, the great thing about... Okay, so Crusader Kings 2, the best things always are told in after-action reports. Okay. Well, that's interesting. The, the window is tracking like that. I wonder if I can stretch it. Okay. Uh, how do I change the settings on this? Okay, you know what? Not down here. Let's drag it until it covers the screen. There we go. Aha! We return to a monthly release schedule with a major focus on fixing bugs. Alpha 144 includes... includes okay. Giant army team. I can never remember how to do this. Let's uh let's let's find uh interesting ones. Open Solar System with Mr. Spock asteroid. So look, uh yeah, they've added it here, Mr. Spock. Do you see that? Right? Mr. Spock is a real asteroid. So when you find an asteroid and it gets observed for long enough, it gets a number and you get the rights to name it. Now the only thing was um Back then, you weren't allowed to name asteroids after fictional characters. So, uh, Mr. Spock is actually named after a cat. <laughs> yes, it's a real object. It's, it's fun to see that they've added that. Climate simulation, gla oh, galaxy collision. Let's watch this happen then. This is just a simulator that lets things happen in, you know, real time. Now, you can adjust the speed here, I guess. Oh, nope. Oh, that's reset. Uh, make speed go faster. Make speed go slower. And we can watch the galaxies penetrating through each other. Engulfing each other. Manipulating themselves. Destroying themselves. This is a cataclysm for everything involved. Actually, it's not that cataclysmic. All the stars are still alive. It just means that you can't really fly to each other. So, yeah, you get this weird... Uh, funnel-like formation forming, which is pretty darn cool. I'm not watching it in real time. Let's load Earth and Many Moons, Saturn with Rings. Apparently, I'm a little sniffly. 75 moons orbiting the Earth. Let's see what happens there. Oh, that's a lot of moons. Yeah, you can watch them all spin around and crash into each other and form into something else. There's, there's one flying around there. Okay, where do we go? 45 minutes per step. How fast is Andromeda? I, I don't actually know off the top of my head how much Andromeda is blue shifted. Oh, look! A moon crashed into the Earth and now the Earth is a molten mess. Look at these things. Ah, smashing into each other. There's nobody living on that Earth at this rate. Uh, bidding, 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 bidding. I, I like how this thing is casting a shadow on the Earth, 
even though the earth is clearly hotter than the surrounding environment. You, if you stare at wet paint, yes, you might just do that. Okay. That That is very interesting. What else have we got here? Core. Solar system. Planets. Exoplanets. Supernova close up in real time. Let's try watching that. This is the Sun Nova Remnant. Okay. <gasps> Look, it's a supernova happening! At least that's their their concept of what a supernova is supposed to resemble. I I, uh, cl I just asked for that many moons and I was awarded them. I should I feel lucky? This is super laid back. There's no like necessarily no need to do anything. We're just kind of you know figuring it out. Um, I'm I'm. That is that supposed to be real time? It does say one second per second, but how big is this radius? That doesn't seem like the speed that I would expect from a supernova. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. The asteroid turned into the big crunch. Yes, and people still argue about that game. I keep pointing out that when you add mass to a star. It turns blue. It starts out red and gets blue if you heat, if you add more and more mass to it. Okay, well that's very interesting, but I think it needs to do more. Supernova Type One A. Oh, we can do a Type One A. So this is Sirius is a. Uh, it's basically a white dwarf, right? So what happens with white dwarfs is when the mass reaches roughly 1.4 solar masses, it starts to undergo nuclear fusion again. And because it's full of its degenerate matter, the heat can't get out quickly enough and the whole thing literally explodes. So watch the mass. As soon as it hits the threshold, we're going to get a supernova. Hey, supernova! See? What did I tell you? And that is the most common... That's, that's what the best uh, candle, basically. The best way you can measure brightness in the universe. Um, the... So because they happen at exactly the, the same time, okay, here's the stellar evolution of the sun. Very quickly, I guess, you can watch the, the radius increasing over time as it gets older and older. So it's like six billion years. Oh, and then it turned into a nova remnant, apparently. That was fast, and now it's dead. Okay, what other simulations do we have? We have human scale. We have human size objects. Experiments. Um, stress tests. Activities. The Alpha Centauri. I'm just looking at these cool things. Fixed stars. Lots of, lots and lots of, lots of things. Trojan. Oh, black hole. How, what's that going to do? Okay, that's, that's not very interesting. Hello, black hole. Yeah, the, the Universe Sandbox people, they've been adding like every single feature under the sun there. It just seems like a great... Uh, they've been doing a fantastic job, I guess, adding stuff and keeping on adding stuff and adding more stuff. Here's Saturn. You see the rings are a bunch of particles in them. So you can see how... You can actually look at the rings and see how the inner ring moves faster than the outer ring, right? That probably looks absolutely terrible in the stream, right? It just looks like a bunch of shimmering things that the encoder's going, oh, I can't encode this! Okay. Yeah. Wait a second, what is this here? Oh, Elite Dangerous has crashed. Yes, I'm going to send that as a report. Oops, sorry, I broke your game. So much for flying the vulture around, I thought I'd be able to take a look at it. Okay, so let's bring up Steam. What are we going to play... Yes, don't worry. Um, what have we got? To the moon, Tom's was alone. I haven't played Surgeon Simulator's updates. That's something I haven't looked at. Strike Suit. You know what? Strike Suit Director's Cut. I should play that. I haven't played that in a while. Because it'll be fun. Okay, now I just need to make some adjustments to my resolution, I guess. And also, I'm going to move these joysticks out of the way. 
I think I'm seeing the, the, the makers of this at GDC this week. I'm not sure if it's tomorrow. I'm going, going for lunch, ideally. They also are doing something called Fractured Space, which I've kind of played. Okay. Come on. Fix yourself. Press any key. Quick. Oh, no, no, I don't need that. Uh, options. Video. Um, full screen off. And 1920 by 1080. Save it. Exit. Just a moment as this thing comes through. Yes, I'm going to accept these. Sweet. Window. Make sure the window is actually capturing the correct thing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Strike suit zero. Okay. And I can kill Universe Sandbox. Close that. Okay, why is it why is that happening? Go away. What? What are you doing? Quit. Quit. Go away. Why do you not respond? Yes, I'd like to exit, not show up the display. Okay, let's go and play some stuff. You really what why wow. Um What's to play now? Have you actually been conscious through a colonoscopy? Because I'll tell you what, it's not quite the same. Trust me. The original campaign. Advance. The clock is ticking. Oh, it's the minefield mission. I'm going to have to play that. Missile systems will not work. You will need to equip rockets. Okay. So I guess I'm going to fly with a strike suit. Or should I fly with the inter? I guess the interceptor is the option for this one. They say right, and that's all my things, upgrades, and everything. Advance. Now I need to pick rockets. Excellent. So we get plasma gun. We get machine guns. I'm gonna try this. Rockets are unguided. That seems to be the convention that people have accepted. Missiles are guided. Really, it doesn't make any difference, but the whole thing is they just want to add a mechanic where uh, guided missiles don't work inside Nebula. So you have to manually kind of deal with things yourself. Uh, have I ever played Bomberman? Yes, I played Bomberman. I played Bombermine once. I, In fact, I could probably start up, bo I could probably find a Bombermine server and we could all play on it at the same time. But I want to play some Strikes at Zero because I haven't done it in such a long time. This is the director's cut. Oh. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay, here we go. There we go. So I will be sweeping the area for mine formations. There's my carrier. I've got a whole fleet out here that I need to defend. Active mine signatures detected. Closing on the Arcadia. Here they come. The mines okay. will target capital ships, not fighters. Let's okay. Before they get too close. Adams, Reynolds, control. Bingo, number one. Objectives as they occur. So it's just basically. Okay. experience of them, sir, five years ago at Ares. It is not something I'm keen to repeat. I understand your concerns, Reynolds, but Bowman's after blood. Command sent him after the Black Fleet so he could redeem himself for Akira. But when he first found them, they wiped out his entire flotilla, and he ran. You getting the story here? He's revenge ever since. It's all he cares about. Are we going to survive him? Are we going to survive him? So the interceptors are suitably fast, at least they are pretty good at taking down these. And I've got wingmen helping me out here. Oh! Did I oh man, I just killed it at the last second by the looks of things. That was close. Hold on. Let me uh, let me bring the volume up in the game, right? That might help.
the game itself actually I've probably turned down the volume to be to just have the speech really loud. Oh quick 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 Yes. Okay. Is that much better? I get sound in my ears. Are closing on the Tartarus. Oh, we'd Tartarus better go and set defend it. The is yes, because the mines are only attacking one ship at a time. Obviously. Okay, here we go. Mines are closing. That's the nearest target there. Going as fast as I can. That's number one. His shield's restored. Whose shield is restored? Whoa, don't want to crash into that. Uh, that is a stupid big mine. Look at the size of those mines. They're like the size of a small, you know, a large spaceship actually. Their, their spacecraft uh, capital ships smaller than that, these mines, I think. Okay. And then, over here. So this is just the start of the mission. It gets, like, hairy later on. Oh, there we go. And it's entirely possible to fail these missions. Okay. This is the one... Okay, and I could fly this from inside the cockpit if I wanted. There we go. There's there's the in-cockpit version. Mine formation is approaching the Aurora. Oh, we better go after that. Adams, new targets. Understood on my way. Yeah, I've never played Star Lancer and I'm not sure like whether it's even legal for me to play it on the screen, that's the problem. Because, you know, Microsoft are just, they're kind of a big company that doesn't get this stuff. Whoa, that was pretty close. Look at how close that was. Actually, I think the Aurora took some damage there. I wonder if, uh... Okay, there we go. Don't... Don't die on me just yet. <sighs> I think I think I failed an objective because uh, I think I failed an objective because I didn't kill one of the mines. And there's a bunch of friends here. Okay, that's one. Another target here. Excellent. The Aurora lives to fight another day. Enemy patrol detected. Uh oh. Better deal with them. Be as limited as ours. Adams, Reynolds, take them down before they can fold out. Yes, sir, with pleasure. At least I can, if I can hit them. Oh, he escaped! Damn it! They folded. Control, do you have them? I'm tracking their movement. They can't fold far inside the nebula. Transmitting coordinates now. Okay. Take a team and hunt them down. They must not warn Taranto. Okay. We shall fold out and we shall fight them on their own ground or something like that. I should probably move my camera down to the other corner, to be honest. There they go! I spy them. We are coming after them. Control, we found them. They're approaching an installation up ahead. Understood. Move in closer. I need to know what it is. You may engage the fighters at your discretion. Copy that. At my discretion? At my discretion, I'm destroying these... Wow. Control. The installation is a 
communications relay point. Understood. It will be one of many used to relay comms traffic through the nebula. I can jam their transmissions for a short period. But there is not much time before they alert Toronto to your presence. Oh, oops. That was not what I meant to do. But you will have to destroy their shield generators. I'm going to destroy those shield generators right away. Quickly. Ah, oh, man. Gotta get a little more range on this thing before I try shooting those shield generators again. Okay. Sh oh, shield generators on the other side now. Where are we? There we go. Okay. And we've got some interceptors now. Haha. Ha. I really can't take I can't kill this guy first. Uh, I, operational parameters, 45 seconds. Okay. This is actually comms relays is what I gotta kill. You gotta kill these things before the timer ticks down to zero or the mission is over. Excellent! Mission successful. Uh, I'm on it. Okay, here we go. This, it would be nice to have the strike suit here because it would be super fast at tracking. The strike suit mode is, is fast at tracking targets. But its main weapon when in strike suit mode is the MTAM and the MTAM isn't very useful in Nebula. So, it's kind of a mixed blessing, let's say. Man, this thing is... This, this guy is slippery! Slippery like a sleeked up snake thing. Okay, like an eel being eaten by... Oh, wow! Hey, what the heck? Dude, you're getting in my light of fire there! I would have had him if it wasn't for you. I would have had him if you hadn't ruined my shot. I'm wondering if those those bolts flashing by the cockpit aren't like making the encoder freak out. There's another target here. Of course, I'm getting all the kills. Kills are what I'm here for. Now, in theory, you can switch between guns, uh, machine guns, and lasers, plasma bolts, to get like take them down faster. But in practice, I found that machine guns, I, I'm never close enough for the machine guns to hit, or rarely close enough, let's say. So I can, I can do that here and, and then switch to the plasma bolt to kill them, right? Never works for me. Enemy destroyed. patrol destroyed. I have extrapolated the location of a central comm station. All enemy communications will pass through this location. If you destroy it, it will I will cripple their in yeah, their network. And remove any possibility of a warning reaching Toronto. Head to these coordinates. A yes, sir. Will meet you there. Okay, bringing the volume up just a bit again. No, it, it, the, the machine guns are supposed to take down the shields or vice versa. I can't remember. This is Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut, basically. So the other game these guys have made is uh, Fractured Space. Fractured Space is like a capital ship combat game, but it's like an arena combat game. Yes. Okay. Where's my oh t t? Okay, R objective. Really? Why is it telling me to shoot interceptors? Oh, it's G. There's there's my objective there. Excellent. Okay, take you out while I can. Shuttle's destroyed. Keep an eye on that station. 
position. More shuttles may try to escape. I'm sure they will. The installation's primary structures are shielded. Copy that. Adams, you know what to do. Yes, I do. What I really need to do is shoot as many other ships as possible to keep my score high so that I can get through the mission. I'm supposed to be killing shield generators, but there's plenty of other targets. Ah, whatever. Let's just play the mission the way we're supposed to. There's a target there. Let's kill him. Excellent. Oh, wait. I do have a, an operational parameters. Okay. Let's get down here and kill these shield generators. Okay, that's one of them. There's a target here that I, sh I could destroy. Oh, oh, damage my ship a little. There's the next one. Flip myself upside down. Excellent. Trolls are too hard and strikes at zero. What are you talking about? This is not elite. Elite. Uh, I can't. Listen. I don't. I'm. I'm just gonna stop setting a game on my thing because elite, as we saw, just. It's. It's. Yeah. I can't afford to keep changing my game when I'm in the middle of taking down these stations. I, I played Elite and I managed to break the new beta and I can't log in. I'll maybe try again in a bit, but I gotta I gotta take down this comm station first. This comm station is gonna be a serious detriment to our invasion plan or our war plan if I can't uh, get rid of it. Okay. Control, the shields are down. Send in the support team. Confirmed. The UNE Aurora and a bomber team are en route. Okay. We must now destroy the comms relays. I will jam them for as long as I can. Take Understood. Transmit. Okay, we've got to find the comms relays. So, um, G for the next objective. There it is, there. Why, why isn't it giving me this? Thank you. Comms relay number one. Comms relay number two. And... Barrel roll. Nobody ever does barrel rolls. Okay. Now I need to go, go underneath the structure to get the rest of the targets. Okay, I'm going to switch out of cockpit mode just so I can see again. It's a lot easier to see when you're taking fire if you've got a exterior mode set up. Man. There we go. That thing, you can't shoot at long ranges. Okay, there we go. So yeah, Fractured Space is like an arena combat game, but it's done it with capital ships, basically. Okay, this flak turret is going to die. Okay, next. Reynolds, this is the Aurora. We're we here to, to take, take this place apart. apart. We we'll need you to fly cover for us. Copy that, sir. Okay, there's a bunch of bad guys here. Okay, what? Oh, I gotta take out the turrets. That's what I gotta do. We got orders to take down these turrets. Okay, next target is there. Okay, now I'm gonna get my missiles on it. Excellent. Next one. We are here. Just pull out before I get too much damaged. 
What's, what's wrong with the Texas time zone? Yeah, you know, like, it's just... It's just people are... The world is, is worldwide. You can't really get out of that. Okay. I hate being in the California time zone because it means that by the time I do get to stream, everybody else is asleep, so I can't... And I can't stream during the day, that's the thing. Because I have a pretty serious day job, you know? I can't... I can't just skip out on that. I can't even start streaming until I put the kids to bed. I can't... So all that... All the video work that I do pretty much is done in a very short period between 10 p.m. and midnight, pretty much. And then I have to be up at, you know, 6 a.m. the next day for work to get the kids up and everything for school. So, yeah, not easy being me. Okay, and now there's more plasma turrets on the other side. There we go. And I'm out of missiles. This is when I should have kept my missiles for. Well, what's interesting in terms of time zones, it's it's worth talking about because EVE Online just published a new dev blog about the new rules for sovereignty, uh, you know, battling for sovereignty. And time zone is kind of a, a thing which will be set for each alliance. So alliances will say, these are the four hours per day when we expect most of our, our people to be online. And pretty much you can't take take their systems unless you attack them during their time zone. Now this is a pretty common... They've had this whole like time zone thing for a long time, but it's never been so explicit. It's always been just a consequence of the way the rules work. Now it literally is explicitly, you know, this is the time zone when you will be fighting, right? And if anybody else wants to take down your system, they have to attack you during these particular hours. Okay, another target. And this is this next one. I'm out of rockets now, so I pretty much have to just wait until I kill them. Sit behind your engines, and off you go. Back to killing the station. Yes, not if I have anything to do with it. Uh, me you know, I played Mech Warrior on the. I played a really, really old version of Mech Warrior years ago, before it was anything that you would recognize. There was like a, a an adventure game which wasn't so much a. It was very much a turn-based game that, on the PC many, many years ago. Okay, that's the next one. Uh, oh. Adams, don't let them get away. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, the EVE Online, uh, it's worth, if you're a player, you have to read the latest dev blogs to get an idea of what's going on. Several of the Elite developer, or sorry, EVE Online developers are actually in San Francisco uh, for GDC. I'm hoping to, to you know, catch up with some of them and maybe get a look at Valkyrie. Possibly tomorrow night, if my luck holds. Okay. Bingo! Next one. Oh, I crashed into something. That's not good. Shields, come on, recover! This interceptor doesn't have the greatest shields. Thankfully, it doesn't have the greatest number of bad guys attacking me. There's one bad guy there. Oh. Okay, next. Get this one. Uh, well, you you do you have heard of it, Mech Warrior Online, right? <laughs> oh dear, Mech Warrior Online. What is to be said about that? The battle is over. The nebula is secure. Oh great! Let's. Now, finally, on to Toronto. Oh great! Wherever Toronto is. Yes! We are onwards and outwards, and we shall now fight at Toronto. Whatever that is. Okay, so this is me getting my scores. I'm gonna edit this because people complain. Okay, weapon unlocked. Oh wow, I get a platinum performance! Excellent, and I unlocked a weapon, and I got my things. Excellent. 
The UNE ship has never broken through the nebula that protected Toronto before. Okay, the next objective is Toronto, Commander Bowman's most ambitious target yet. This is a large-scale military installation. It is heavily fortified, but they will not be expecting a rearguard attack. There is an opportunity here to strike a massive blow against the colonial infrastructure. Oh, wait. No, I don't mean to do that. There, That's what we need. Mission 7. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, ha, 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 ha. The aim is to cause as much damage as possible in a short a time as possible. A short time frame. We daren't take too long. The colonials will hit us with everything they have. There will be. Hold on. Hmm. There will be much drinking. A large number of capital ships moored in the space pens. We need to. We need to hit as many of these as we can before they can disembark. That's it. Awesome. So for this one, you pretty much have to use the bomber, right? The bomber has torpedoes. And, yeah. Torpedoes and rockets. I think I guess I might switch to missiles. Swarm missile or fighter missile mark II. That's probably the most efficient thing I can have. I don't need fi uh, rockets because rockets... I've got torpedoes, right? I've got infinite number of torpedoes, basically. But these, these will be good at engaging... Uh, fighters at decent range. Oh yeah, Gavin Goblin's just hilarious. He's like such a such a terrible blogger. Like people don't understand the goons. We're not here to ruin the game. We're here to ruin your game. With the bulk of their fleet and route to earth. This is our chance to do some real damage to the colonial war machine. The colonials. We do this right. And they'll have no choice but to send the entire Black Fleet against us. That's exactly our plan. Crushed! You have been assigned to a bomb Bravo, Kilo. Your objective is to destroy the ship pens. Reynolds will be flying escort. So you'll notice the music in this is pretty similar to the music the in, is in a... Mobile missile platform. Okay. If a fighter or a turret gets in your way, Use your missiles to take them out. The bomber's primary weapons are its torpedoes. Okay, so I can fire torpedoes like this. Structural weakness, the fuel cells. The cells are armored, but your torpedoes are powerful enough to break through. The resulting explosion should trigger a chain reaction that will destroy the entire pen and the ship. So here's an example. There's a couple of ships in this pen, and there's fuel somewhere. Yeah, there's a fuel cell there. I'm just going to hit that one. There's my torpedoes away and I should probably launch some torpedoes against this. Watch. Oh man, it didn't hit the fuel cell there. There, try that. Excellent! Woo! That's how we're supposed to do that. So you got to hit the fuel cell. So not only do you have giant torpedoes, but you also put the giant torpedoes into the fuel cells. My entire deal is to kill these uh, ships before they can have a chance to launch. We're in the middle of a chain reaction. Okay. And I'm gonna launch another one. And then I'm going to go after this turret here. Excellent. That's another pen down. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna shoot this thing. Because these bombs do a lot of damage. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, these fuel platforms. Oh, this is gonna be. This is a hard one, I remember. The hard part was in the original version before the director's cut. The torpedoes had a real tendency to not actually go where they were aimed particularly well. So you would kind of think you were going the right direction and then it would turn out they were aiming to the left or the right. Okay. Yes, now we're doing it. So we got to make some more holes in these. More holes there. And hole here. Oh, excellent. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Warning missile. Uh, control for that. I'm 
got to destroy one more fuel cell somewhere. Which one is the one that I'm missing? There, I guess. Excellent! Oh, there's a target. Let's kill this target. I will after I've killed this, because killing these is what I do. Okay, ship pen. It's over this way. Oh, it's right here! Ha! No, wait, I've, I've already killed that one. They must be launching before I get my chance to shoot them. Okay, next one. Oh, debris everywhere. What else can I attack? Black cannons there. The okay, we're done with the frigate pens. It's time to move on to the main event. Yeah, I got the. I've got both the director's cut and the regular version. The director's cut has a lot of bonuses I like. Adams, you are now approaching the cruiser pens. Once again, target the fuel cells to destroy them. Yeah, it wants to play now. I kind of like having the rudder on the joystick, but I totally understand why you might want to shift it onto the, the throttle, right? That totally makes sense. Oh, look at my team there coming in! There's my boys! Okay, and I've got to help them out here. So look, there's a cruiser in there, and I'm just going to launch missiles into these. And hopefully, we'll, we'll get there in time. Now, I'm going to launch... Excellent! <laughs> Make the big ship go boom! Okay, now there's another... Tar okay, there's another cruiser pen over there. So I can hear a missile coming in at me. And then I gotta beat it. Okay, now I can afford to use my thrusters. So you need your thrusters to perform the... Um, you need thrusters to be able to perform your ECM. That's why I stopped thrusting as soon as I saw the uh, incoming missile. Okay, that's these ones going. Got another launch, and then I'm gonna go over the other side and hopefully hit this target. There we go. Is this thing getting out? They're launching! Okay, I gotta kill this thing now. Okay, gotta get out of here and then come around for another pass. Get another shot of those missiles. Oh, there we go. Missiles. Uh oh, the low shields. I get hit by something. Let's pull out, let my shields regenerate a little. And then find another. Not a good shot. From this angle, there might be something else to hit. To kill the cruisers, you can strip them off their weapons and everything, obviously. But you can also hit the weak spots. Oh, excellent! There it goes. I missed it dying! <laughs> I'm sure the NPCs in Star Citizen will acquire all sorts of uh, effects to make their uh, thing look correct, but right now I'm not seeing, you know, we'll see when it happens. I, I'm kind of disappointed that Star Citizen hasn't exactly sent a huge number of its people to GDC and instead they're sending all their people to PAX. You know, there are some people there though. Okay, I've got some more cruisers to destroy. Next. Where's my target? No, T, T, T. Objective! Objective. Wait, surely my... 
my objective isn't... Yeah, thanks, Fuel. It's my cruiser. It's the cruiser. We gotta kill these things. Uh, weak spots, of course. I like how you can just about hear the engine going off. Oh, dear. That was a nice hit, but it was totally not what I needed. There's a little too much uh, concentration required. I think this this game takes a lot from a lot of different sources. It it obviously goes for the aesthetic of Homeworld. It even borrows the the composer of the music in Homeworld. So that's one cruiser down. That's one cruiser down. Great. So it has the same composer as Homeworld. It has uh, a designer. Oh wow, this thing is is really starting to shoot my person up. I'm going after this one then. Oh, that, that one looks like it might be more damaged. So if I kill this one faster... Look at those lasers! Come on. The, I want to hit these missiles. I want to hit this. Yes! Yes, the beam cannons! <laughs> Picking off beam beam cannons with my torpedoes, that's accuracy for ya. Okay, next. I'm enjoying it, but I'm kinda you know, it's it's kinda frustrating to keep getting stuck on situations. Okay. We need to retreat. We'll keep hitting this place. Until the Black Fleet themselves come running. Commander, the Black Fleet aren't coming. This is suicide. We have to fall back. You have my orders. Engage the enemy. Okay, gotta hit these beam turrets. Where are these beam turrets? Oh, there. That's it, there. Beam turret. Yes! And that's one more down. We leave now or it all ends here. Captain, it is time. Commander Bowman has served his purpose. You oh, need wow. to take the fleet and leave. There is still time to save Earth, but we have to leave now. I no longer have any tactical need for the commander. This is always your intention, Control? To abandon him? Yes, Captain. Oh, man. But if it helps, any other option would result in the total annihilation of your fleet. Get all the missiles flying back and forth. Okay, control. In that case, give me a command override. All ships, this is Captain McCallum. Backed by the rules of precedence and regulations concerning transference of authority. I am declaring Commander Bowman unfit for command, and I am taking charge of the fleet. Put simply, I cannot allow him to put you or your ships at risk any longer. All those that wish to follow me, disengage and retreat to your emergency full positions now. All flight teams, escort the Arcadia. Cover the retreat. Damn you, McCallum. I'll make you pay for this. Even if I have to fight my way through the entire colonial fleet to do it. Commander. Captain McCallum is not responsible for your predicament. I am. Control? Explain yourself. The Thule team were not killed by colonial fighters, Commander. They were executed by UNE ships to minimize your exposure to Akira. Is this another one of your games? 
Force Control. I have one for you. <sighs> Why weren't you on that shuttle? If you could predict what was going to happen, why is it you let everyone else die? You oh yes, young boy 99 being terrible, for whatever. For everything. Like I care. Yes, but Abram's team were not. I should never have brought you to Thule. I should never have let Abram anywhere near you. But you did, Commander. And Dr. Abram cared for her team. This is my gift to her. Goodbye, Commander. So that says we just gotta get out of here with my team. Ah. <sighs> Uh, you know, that's okay. I think that's his whole point, is that he's just gonna... Spam. I thought I had Nightbot set up, but apparently Nightbot is not working for me right now. Anyway. Moving on. Okay, that was a pretty terrible mission because I only got a silver service medal. I had no, I had Nightbot set up. I'm not sure. I just, I'm not that bothered to be honest. If, like, seriously, I'm just mucking around. In fact, in 15 minutes, I have to get to, like, I have to finish up, right? I could use a few mods, but you know what? Nobody's ever around that I trust enough. So that's what we're going. What's my favorite ship in this game? I mean, I think the classic strike suit is just stunning amount of fun. Okay, we're gonna have to rescue the Mer Mercury. So this time we'll go back and we'll actually use the strike suit. Strike suit. Uh, strike suit zero, obviously, because it's the zeroth strike suit. Uh huh. So since we're not in a nebula anymore, we can probably do. Uh, we'll do the fighter missile mark two because that's and a set of rocket pods actually that makes sense so we've got two sets of missiles we've got our plasma gun and we're gonna start yeah it's gonna happen i mean seriously like i i get a lot of weird mail i get the occasional bit of hate mail i get people spamming stuff and you know what i don't care like i seriously i don't care i have a very thick skin there's very little that people can do because i have the hot upper position in every single case I shall eliminate the threat and secure the intel. Okay. So we're waiting for someone to come back. I think this is pretty cool. I wish I could look around. Oh! Oh, what the heck! Well, that totally didn't work. That's okay. We will! I've already knocked my armor down just by crashing into my own spaceships. So that's pretty embarrassing, to be honest. Okay. Okay, so we got to take this thing out as quickly as possible. If we can even the odds. Take out the frigate's heavy turrets, but watch out for those fighters. The Black Fleet only recruits the best. Okay, so I'm gonna use use my missiles here. Oh, blue shields, come on! One. I wonder if I can do this. This is where the encoding probably gets really bad for Twitch because Okay, 
that's now half the turrets down. And the Aurora is... The Aurora is still alive, but for how long? Turrets are on the other side. Ah, there. Three Corvettes are targeting the Mercury. Ah, great. Set those torpedoes and scratch those Corvettes. Torpedoes! Gotta to take the torpedoes out. Great. Yes! Go here. Okay. So now it's just fighters. New contacts. It's a black fleet cruiser. Stall it. We need to give the Mercury enough time to fold out. Her drive's coming back online. Transmitting estimated time to fold. Full drive third ready in 30 seconds. Gotta find the guns that are still on this thing that are shooting us. There, there, oh, there. Uh oh! I'm like down to like no shields! I'm seriously. Yeah. Five seconds, and then we've successful. This is Mercury. Our drive's ready. Excellent! Get your ass out of here! Adams, Reynolds, fold out with Mercury. She needs an escort. 
You don't need to tell me twice. Control, Woo. The Mercury is folded out. The enemy are in pursuit. Adams and Reynolds are acting escort. I can totally win this. I am going to win this. Only six to eight people. I'm pretty terrible, but. Control, we folded right into the Black Fleet carrier. No. Can you stand the tension here? I will probably do another KSP series once 1.0 is released, but not before then. Okay, so there's a bunch of fighters coming in. This is going to be the end of me. I'm going to restart this checkpoint, but it'll give me full shields back, Control. thankfully. We folded right into the Black Fleet carrier. Hmm. Okay, we folded right into the carrier. My actually, my hand is getting a little stiff here. I gotta really uh, gotta actually finish up because my hand is. Unable to cope with all this maneuvering. Okay. So there's the carrier once again. Let's first of all deal with the fighters. Always fun doing that. Okay, target. I can't take on the carrier. We're going to have to keep moving. This is going to be a running battle until we can fold again. Adams, let's give those Black Fleet Aces something to think about. What do you think I've been doing? I've been like blowing up every single thing using my awesome strike suit, and you've been like. Just saying, you know, do things. Thanks. I could hear it. Okay, I really need to... Oh, wait. I'm like right next to the carrier. I totally didn't realize I was like right next to it. Now more... You're okay. Mercury's ready to fold out in sixteen seconds. Nine seconds. And the important thing is when you go into strike suit mode is you need to kill things to make sure you maintain strike suit status. Excellent. Ooh. You want to know what... Yeah, I don't know. I might. 
Yeah, this is so Gundam, it's uh, unbelievable. Okay, it wasn't so bad. Okay, get a silver, not gonna get a gold. But I need to terminate this. I, I do have to disappear and I will be in a, If anyone's at GDC, then why are you watching this? No, I'm gonna be at GDC tomorrow night, hopefully seeing some cool stuff. And uh, have a great night, everyone. Have a great day if you're in Europe. Fly safe.